Alright, so moving on. In part video, by the end of this video, you will have your own captain's room. So for the goals for this video, we're going to create your own captain's room. Use two point circle, use trim sketch tool, use section analysis tool, and use create polygon tool, which is optional. Alright, so to get started on your captain's room, we're going to create a sketch on the bottom of the boat. And what we're going to do is click P for project, select this face, OK. I'm going to click to create a construction line just down here. Doesn't matter how far it is. I'm going to click X or you can click here. And what I'm going to do is go on the create rectangle and center rectangle. So I'm going to select somewhere on this construction line. I'm going to have it. I'm just going to place it down. Now I'm going to dimension for the width to be 22 millimeters. And I'm going to uh, dimension the height to be 30 millimeters. So, to, uh, in order to fully constrain this, I'm going to say from the center of the rectangle to the top point is 25 millimeters. But now this is, will create me a solid uh, captain's room. I still want it to be empty uh, with some thickness. So, I'm going to click offset. I'm going to select my rectangle. I'm going to give it a thickness of 2 millimeters. Click OK. I'm going to click finish sketch and extrude. Now I'm extruded to 60 millimeters. Great. So now what we're going to do now is that we want to create that, we want to cut a little angle here to go through. So I'm going to click create new sketch on the side of the captain's room. I'm going to click project and project the, the entire thing, the extrude. And I'm just going to place it down line from uh, one of the top corner to down here on this edge and I'm just going to give it an angular dimension of 15 degrees and that's all finish sketch click E select this and we're going to extrude cut this click OK and now what we're going to do is create the roof so I'm going to create another sketch but I'm going to select on this uh, plane but now it's in a, at an angle I'm going to project it once again I'm going to offset by two millimeters. Click finish sketch, extrude, and select everything and extrude up by two millimeters. And now what we're going to do is create the captain's door. So I'm going to select to create a new sketch on the side right here. And what you can do since this part that the boat is getting out of the way, we can use slice again. And now we'll get a nice little cross section and we can see. We're going to project once again right here for these edges and bottom right here. Make sure you have that select and click OK. And I'll create another rectangle two point. And I'm going to use the midpoint constraint right here. I'm going to select the bottom edge along with the projected edge on the bottom. And it's going to put our rectangle in the middle. I'm going to dimension the height of the rectangle to be 40 millimeters and the width to be 20. What I'm going to do now is go on the create circle and use two point circles so we can have this little arc going through. I'm going to select my corners as my endpoints and now we have our uh, and now we have our captain's door. We're just going to click here to trim away the excess right here. And you can um, trim this away, but it's gonna unconstrain it. So I wanna do that. I'll just un undo it, and I'm just cut turn this into construction line. So it just makes it easier on me. Finish sketch, and I'm gonna select this and extrude cut. But however, you can't really see of where you might be extruding, right? So what you can do is go under tools, and then click section analysis, and it's gonna ask you for a face. I want to get a cross section midway of this door, so I'm going to select this and I'm going to drag this um, arrow until I can see where I'm going to be extruding. So I'm going to click E to extrude and select this. And now we can see how far we're extruding into our captain's room and we're more than enough. As long as we're not going all the way right here, here's good enough. Click OK. And if you want to turn this off, you can either click here under this analysis uh, folder or you can just click the first section analysis that you just did and turn out the visibility off. 
Moving on, now we want to create our little windows in the front and in the back. So I'm going to create a new sketch and for the front I'm just going to create a square. So again I'm going to click P for project. I'm going to project this. And then you're going to create another construction line from the midpoint of the top edge that we projected. Select this, X. And then I'm create a two point rectangle and but instead of going under the drop down and click center rectangle you could actually just select the rectangle R and it says um, center rectangle right here and then I'm going to select on my construction line I want the dimension to be 15 by 15 and then I'm going to dimension from the center of the square to the midpoint to be 12 millimeters and we'll click finish sketch and I'm just going to extrude as always down inwards and you can see when it cuts through so you don't need to do any section analysis and for the back window I'm just going to create a new sketch on the back face P for project but notice how this is getting an hour away as we can just tell and see how it's actually obstructing a little bit you can also do a slice again and what I'm going to do is same thing construction line midpoint drop it down construction line and what we're going to do for the polygon is go on the create polygon and this is going to give you an option between a circumscribed polygon or an inscribed polygon. I'm just going to go with the circumscribed polygon. I'm going to put it, place it down on the uh, construction line. And then you can see how you can define its radius and the edge number. So if you want to make a square, you can click 4 or a triangle by 3. I'm just going to keep it 6 as a hexagon. And I'm just going to place it down some over here, it doesn't matter. So I'm just going to dimension this to be 15 from one edge to another, whoops. 15. And I'm going to say it's um, from the top edge to the center of the hexagon to be 12.5 millimeters. And even though it's unconstrained, as it can still rotate, I'm just not um, really going to bother with it unless you really want to constrain it by using the cold incident or any um, constraint uh, tools then go for it I'm just gonna leave it like this you can always customize it to any shape that you want or any polygon or square anything and same thing I'm going to extrude cut and now we have our windows and that wraps it up for this video and the next video will be the final video as we're going to be finishing up with the captain's box right here and the chimney on the roof and we're just going to uh, finalize it with adding giving it an appearance like a color and adding some fillets and chamfers i'll see you in the final video next